Peggy 18. Hi everyone, this is Max from Conviction, and we're back with more answers to your YouTube questions. Here's the first one. In Conviction, you can't drag dead bodies, but what you can do is grab a guy in human shield, and once you've got in the human shield, you can bring him wherever you want, and from there, you can get rid of him, throw him out a window, things like that. I'm wondering if you had any fun little game mechanics to keep sure that things would actually flow. Other than Krav Maga, what did you actually do to try and keep things flowing? That's a very good question. We made a lot of effort in making sure that all the actions of Sam were very fast and fluid. So the, the ledge navigation when you're hanging on a wall and you're navigating is super fast and super fluid. But on top of that, we wanted to make sure that the player could do all the different things he wanted to do from there. So you can mark and execute, you can shoot your gun, you can throw grenades, you can use gadgets while hanging on the ledge, while taking cover. We did all that to keep the game flow moving as fast as possible. Is this going to be the last Sam Fisher, you know, the last Prince Cell game, you know what I'm saying? Or there's more to come with Sam Fisher? Obviously, I can't officially answer that question, but as you know, Splinter Cell is a great franchise for Ubisoft. I think we all love Sam Fisher, so uh, I'm pretty sure Sam's going to be back. The first footage of Splinter Cell Conviction in 2007, when Sam Fisher had like a beard and long hair, um, will, will any of those gameplay elements we saw in that video be in the new updated version, or will is it? completely abandoned. We've obviously made a lot of changes since the 2007 demo. We've kept the same tech, the tools that we use are the same, they've been improved obviously. Uh, one thing that we've reused a lot is the crowd, the crowd system that we have in Conviction. Uh, other than that, we kind of like changed the direction, so we, we refocused on the core values, so pretty much the gameplay has all been changed since, since then. That's it for today, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the game when it comes out. See you later.